We all have the tendency to not live life to the fullest. We spend time worrying and stressing about our daily problems, whether it's work stuff, family stuff, or the future. And we forget to enjoy the present moment. We take everything we possess for granted and forget that every day is a gift. That's when mindfulness comes into play. Mindfulness helps us reconnect with ourselves and with the world around us by consciously appreciating the little things that make up our days. Mindfulness reminds us that life is now and that we should start living it consciously. Here are some of my tips on how to incorporate it into your daily routine. For this example, we're going to be using our five senses as well as a sixth one, which in this case will be our inner feelings. Now, when practicing each step of mindfulness, it is important that you feel love, regardless of how you're originally feeling this day. What matters is that you disconnect from the busy and stressful train of life and that you take some time for yourself and to fully appreciate what's around. Now, imagine that you wake up in the morning and it is a beautiful day outside and you decide to take some time for yourself. So you put your screens away and you take a break from social media and you go have a walk outside in nature. It could be in your garden, in a park, in the forest or by the beach, you know, anywhere that makes you feel at peace. The first thing you could do is observe. Observe what's around you. Look at where you're not used to look. Maybe look for little insects or birds or animals. See what they're up to. Look up to the sky, notice how high it is. Look at the clouds passing by. If it's at night and you're lucky enough to see the stars, then observe. Each and every dot is possibly another world with a different story. Try to discern any constellations or any of our neighbor planets. Just take some time to visually appreciate the beauty of the world around you. After taking some time to look around you, notice how you feel. Notice how you feel on a physical, mental, emotional and even spiritual level. Are you feeling tense, uh, uncomfortable, tired? Are you feeling good, relaxed, content? Now notice your train of thoughts. Is something preoccupying you? Are you struggling to let go? You do not need to change your thoughts. Just take some time to notice them. Become the observer. Observe yourself, observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Don't be mad at yourself because you're struggling to let go or because you're feeling a way you don't want to feel. Just acknowledge your feelings and thoughts and then move on. Take as much time as you need. Once you've done that, listen. Listen to the world around you. What I like to do is close my eyes and try to discern the smallest noises around me and then try to picture what the cause of them might be. For example, if I hear a buzzing sound, then I picture a little bee flying around collecting pollen. Always picture something positive that makes you feel happy. Listen to the wind making the trees and leaves sing. Maybe you can hear a little brook flowing nearby. If you're by the sea, you can focus your attention on the beautiful melody of the waves. Now feel, I mean physically feel what's around you. Feel the gentle breeze stroking your cheeks. Feel the energy of the sun warming you up. You can even touch things like the grass or the leaves or the dirt or the water, whatever's around you. 
And one thing you can do if you decide to touch things is to notice the sound it makes as you're touching them. Kind of like ASMR in a way. <laughs> because actually ASMR could be considered a type of mindfulness. Um, this will help you get into the present moment even more as you increase your focus and your attention on what you're currently doing. Sun! Sun is being extremely bright right now. <laughs> now breathe. Notice how you breathe. Your breath always adapts itself to how you're feeling or what you're thinking about. If you're feeling tense, for example, chances are your breathing will also be quite tense. So notice how you breathe and then if possible and if necessary try to recalibrate it uh, into a more relaxing mode just follow the sound of your breath this will increase your awareness what you can do uh, if possible is notice the smells around you of course hopefully the good ones now i say if possible because they aren't always very distinct odors around us um, but if you know, if, if there are any, you know, nature, others like the, the smell of the grass or the smell of the wet soil after it rained or the smell of the sea, for example, just take some time to acknowledge it and appreciate it. And now comes the best part, food. Yes. <laughs> if you are eating, then take some time to notice the taste of it and to appreciate it. That practice alone is called mindful eating and really helps in appreciating the food you're eating and being grateful for it. Because if you're like me and you get all excited by food and then end up eating super fast, mindful eating will definitely save you. So try to distinct the tastes of the spices, of the herbs, all the ingredients that you put in your food. Uh, you can also visualize them at the same time. For example, if you're eating um, tomatoes, then imagine that they grew in a beautiful place filled with sunlight and trees. Um, visualize your body absorbing um, all the good nutrients of the food, anything that's good for you, and take some time to be grateful for every single bite. So that's the end of my little guide to mindfulness. I hope you liked it. Um, now, of course, you do not need to be by yourself or to be uh, outside in nature in order to practice mindfulness. That was just an example for the sake of this video. You can practice it um, any time of the day, however you want and uh, anywhere, basically. There are so many different types of mindfulness. Um, but it definitely helps in enjoying the present moment more and in appreciating the little things around you. I find this exercise very helpful. Um, so yeah, I hope it will help you. Yeah, I hope you like this video and <laughs> um, if you liked it, you can leave a like or comment down below and you can also subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Take care. I love you. Bye.